Hello everybody, welcome to another reading. Today we are going to get some messages for Leo. This is for all Leo placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars. If you have Leo prominent in your chart, there are probably messages for you in this video. Um, this is also a timeless video, so whenever you happen to come across it is when you are meant to hear these messages. I do make these videos with the intention that they reach those who identify with being an indigo, a star seed, a light worker, a twin flame, or a divine partner, uh, crystals, rainbows, those kinds of things. So I uh, identify with being an indigo, a star seed, a light worker, and a divine uh, feminine, as well as I uh, resonate with the divine partner um, versus the uh, twin flame. Anyway, um, I'm going to be using the Green Witch Tarot for you today, Leo, but before we get into the reading, I just have a few quick announcements. Um, I am now on Instagram and TikTok, so if you'd like to follow me on Instagram and TikTok, the links will be listed in the description below. I do a lot of fun things over there. I do mini readings. I try to do them every day, um, but I do post daily over there um, mini readings. I post photography. I'm a, a, I do photography, and then I am also an artist. I have some paintings right here, which you can't really see, um, and then I do drawings and a bunch of different um, fun things over there on TikTok and as well as on Instagram. Um, my TikTok is brand new, so I only have like a couple of videos over there but I am doing my best to uh, do it every day so anyway if you want to follow me over there the information to that will be in the description box below also uh, I've been getting some inquiries regarding personal readings all of the information for personal readings will also be listed in the description box below I'm currently offering three I am doing a past present and future a love reading and then an advice reading they are all the same price and all payments can be made through PayPal so that I have an invoice and you have an invoice and everybody has all their bases covered. So I think those are all the messages that I have today, Leo. So let's jump right into this. I did pre-shuffle as always, but we're going to shuffle a few times while we're in the video to get the energies of those who are viewing. I hope that you are having a wonderful day today. I am having a beautiful day. I'm in a fabulous mood. Um, it rained last night where I live like a lot. It was raining. It was hailing. There was lightning. There was thunder. It was wonderful. I loved it. Um, a couple of months ago, I was uh, caught up in a storm, a really bad storm, um, and I ended up actually uh, having to go to the hospital during uh, during the time, and it was very scary for me. So um, I'm really happy that I was able to conquer my fear of the rain and the lightning and the thunder, and I just sat out there yesterday. It just, oh, it was amazing. So I don't know why I felt like sharing that story with you. Um, but yeah, there you go. <laughs> if you have a story, a, a story, a story you would like to share, a story you would like to share, um, leave, drop it in the comments below. I would love to hear it. I do read all the comments, um, and I, uh, at the very least, try to leave a little heart. I respond um, when I can. I don't get to all of them, but um, I do try uh, to. I do uh, try to do the hearts on all of them. Alrighty, I think that's enough shuffling, Leo. What do you think? Let's go ahead and just get right into this. One, two, and three. All right, let's get some messages for Leo, please. For the Leo Indigos, we have the Five of Cups, Leo. Aww. Okay, so water energy, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. I kind of am getting a sense of like, this is something that you yourself have taken the decision of letting go of. Because this, pardon me, that's the, for me a sign of the heart chakra opening. Um, so uh, this, but this lady here, she is pouring the cups out herself. Um, she's not like, like normally in this card, you see that the cups are already spilled over and the person's just kind of like sad and like staring at them and like the other ones are behind them. They aren't really paying attention. But she's got three cups that she's put in her basket and she's pouring two of them out, which is another thing that's unusual too because usually you see three cups spilled over and she, there's only two. But she saved three and she's spilling two out. Um, so I feel like this is kind of like you have, um, I feel like this is like you've, we're going to keep getting some more information, but, but I'm getting a sense of like you have um, made the decision to cut certain things out of your life or people um, out of your life for your own um, benefits. Yeah. Okay, let's get some more information for Leo, please. What else do we have for Leo? What else? Do you see this? like caught it 
It was the Six of Swords. Okay. So you could be traveling. You could be moving. Um, you could live next to water. Um, whatever this is, this is like, it's like you're kind of like, you're cutting your losses and you're just moving on from a situation. Um, this could be a long distance. If this is a, uh, a, like a connection that we're talking about here, it could have been a long distance connection. Um, but only take that if it resonates. I'm not really getting a sense of what it really is at this moment, other than it's something that you decided it was better for you to let go of and to move on from. So kudos. I mean, that's awesome. That means that you know enough about yourself to say, you know what, this is really not what's best for me. And um, even though this sucks, I'm just going to kind of like, you know, I'm going to dump these cups out and, and I'm going to move on. I still have three in my basket. So um, yeah, I'm going to take my little horse here, you know, my six swords, and I'm just going to go and, and move on. Um, all right. What else? What else do we have for Leo? The seven of pentacles. Yeah, you've been putting in the hard work into something. Um, something that you are very close to com completing. Um, you're like right there at the end. There's only like a few more things that you need to do. And then um, it's completed. And, um, you know, it's possible that cutting these things off was necessary in order for you to keep moving forward. Um, or, you know, it's possible that you had to cut these things off and let these things go because of the fact that you've been you've been putting all this hard work in and you're so close to reaching your goal. Um, and you know, it, it was necessary for the growth of whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish here. Um, which could be like a business. Um, for some of you, it could be like a creative project for others of you. It's, I feel like it's going to be different for everybody. Um, okay. What else? The Knight of swords, the Knight of a Athams, the Knight of swords. Okay. So you could be having some, um, like epiphanies, um, that are leading you to want to, um, communicate. I feel like this could be, this could also be like a uh, quick communication coming in. You could be getting messages coming in. This is, um, so as far as signs, we have water, uh, air and earth. So, um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, and then Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn. Um, uh, yeah. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. Um, so for, like, in this deck, the Two of Swords, like, these people right here, they're negotiating. Um, I believe that they're negotiating on, like, who's going to, um, do what with the property. Um, as far as, like, who's going to, like, reap the benefits of it, because I think that they were both helping to grow the, um, the harvest, the crop, but, um, it's a sense of negotiating, of, of getting, like, what's fair, um, and then it's the Ace of Pentacles, so it's, like, a new financial beginning, this could be something that it's followed by the Nine of Wands, so, or, sorry, the Nine of Swords, so this could be something that you've been kind of stressing about, um, especially with all of this sword, this air energy here, um, this could be something that you've just been, like, think, like, in your head about a lot, um, I'm going to take these, um, yeah, I do feel like this is something that you're passionate about. It's something that could have started around, uh, around the Yule time, like, uh, December, the start, the beginning of the year. The leap of faith is required. Um, this is interesting. This is interesting here. So you could be mess getting messages coming in from somebody who is wanting to negotiate with you regarding a business situation. Um, this is something that you could have been stressing out about for a while, um, possibly because you've had to cut things out of your life, probably because you've had to like let go of things in order to progress with this. It could be something that I feel like has maybe been slow moving coming in. Um, I'm really getting a sense of like this is talking about a career thing. Um, for some of you, it could definitely be a, uh, relationship, but again, I'm not really feeling like that. I'm feeling like this is talking about like your money, um, your foundations, your stable, your, your stability, um, like a career, a business opportunity, maybe even like a job, like maybe you, um, it's a job offer that you're waiting to come in. You're waiting to hear from somebody on a job that you've like applied for and they're like going to give you that call with like the offer you know and you maybe negotiate a salary 
or something like that and it's going to bring in this new like financial opportunity for you which is going to be um really nice because it's you've been worrying about this it's been something that's been keeping you up all at night like you've been having nightmares about it um just like a lot of just heavy anxiety and stress about it so um i like it i think that um you know i think that it's gonna be nice whatever is um coming in i uh do i am getting a sense of like it's something that is slow moving like i i know we don't have the knight of pentacles here but i feel like um it's kind of it's been something that kind of like maybe you've been applying to jobs for a while or something like that or you've been working on this project for a while i just feel like this is something that has been um Like, it's been a, a project of, like, I hope that makes sense. But when this offer comes in, it's going to come in quickly. This message is going to come in quickly. Um, and you, I feel like you might be getting, like, some sort of an insight before, too, like an epiphany or something like that, like I was saying. So um, we're going to um, end that there with the tarot. We're going to move on. I do have some uh, pre-shuffled oracle cards for you and then some charms but before we get into that i'm going to take a sip of my coffee uh because i need something to drink so i hope you have something to drink with you cheers mm. yay last time it was cold i was uh smart enough this time to remember to get new coffee before i started filming okay so we have two charms for you the first one that we have is this guitar pick so you could be a musician, you could play the guitar, you could play uh, the bass, or I don't know, maybe even like the violin, a ukulele, <laughs> like that's interesting, but I don't know, maybe um, you could be in like a band or something like that, um, but uh, you could you could teach music, but I feel like some, like music is something, I just saw 1215 on the, um, on the timer, so you could, um, and there's 15, 1.5 here on the, um, on the pick 1.5 millimeters so this is a thick one it's a base base pick I used to play the bass in high school um, but anyway yeah you could be music could be something that's significant to you um, and then we have this blue uh, flower here let's see if I can hold it up I'm dropping it look at the little daisy I always think of forget-me-nots with this um, I don't know. I was, I'm kind of getting a sense of like some uh, childhood nostalgia too. So maybe, um, maybe your favorite flower is a blue flower or maybe you used to pick blue flowers when you were little. Oh, that's an interesting message. That's going to probably be specific, um, for somebody. So only take that one if it resonates. Okay. So here's your animal spirit message. You got goose, goose. Um, have you ever seen that movie Fly Away Home? That was a good movie. Um, oops. It was about a goose. Or geese. I don't know. It was a good movie. It made me cry. I think it was like the first movie that I watched where I cried as a kid. But I don't know. I might be wrong on that. Nope, that, I am wrong on that. Anyway, rambling. Sorry. Sorry, Leo. Okay. Goose, inner knowing. You are a brave traveler. Your soul knows the way. Be confident you will achieve your destination. Loyal friends are always with you. Don't worry, you are blessed. Let yourself fly. Yeah, I really feel like that is the five of cups and the six of swords here. Um, I feel like it's possible, like maybe you had to cut some toxic people out of your life, maybe toxic friends, um, and you are wherever, whatever it is that you're moving towards, you're moving in the right direction. Like you did what you had to do for you and for your energy. Like, you know, if they don't vibe, they're not your tribe. Um, you know, you have to pay attention to, to the energies around you. And just because somebody says that they're your friend doesn't mean that they're, you know, a vibrational match. It, a vibrational matches are very important. Um, and we meet, we meet people because we are a vibrational match. So if somebody is, a, you know, and we fluctuate all the time, you know, so it's very possible that you could meet somebody and you're both like, 
you know, at this vibrational match like here, and then all of a sudden like you come up here, but they're still like down here, and then and now you're not at a vibrational match anymore, and then there's a bunch of discord in the connection and you break apart. That happens. It's it's possible. And it's also possible that, you know, like you could come here and then they come here and then they go up here and then you go up here and then back and forth and you know, whatever this whole journey is. <clears throat> we we all have our own. Um, but sometimes we have to, you know, we have to we have to do what's best for us and, um, you know, everybody has their own journey. And so we're, we all come to our vibrational levels at the appropriate time for us individually. And, you know, I think that what you had to do was probably not easy, but it was the best thing for you. And it's pretty admirable, like, you know, so, um, yeah, anyway, I think that's what the goose was saying too. So here's your note from the universe. It says, the speed with which any dream may be realized is always a function of how small the miracles have to be in order not to freak out the dreamer. Hmm, the universe. It's odd though, given that there are only miracles that some are more accepted than others. Hmm. So what this is saying is that sometimes like you may have like a big dream and the universe, like if you were, to, if the universe was, were to just like give you this dream, like right now, where you are right now, it might freak you out and you might not be willing to accept it. Um, sometimes it's really hard to accept that good things are happening to us, you know, like, especially if it's something that you've been wanting for a really long time, um, then, you know, it can be scary to when it finally comes in. And so it's kind of like the universe is kind of like, okay, well, I'm trying to, I'm give, bringing this gift to you, but I have to give you a little bit at a time so that you can accept it. Because if I were to just give it all to you all at once, you know, it would be too good to be true. And you, you would probably reject it in one way or another, or it would be harder to accept it. Um, it might get damaged along the way, kind of a thing. You know what I mean? Um, and that's kind of like where divine timing comes into play. Um, I just saw 1711 on the timer. So that's kind of where divine timing comes into play because, you know, everything happens for a reason and it happens when it's meant to happen and you can't rush anything. You can't, you can't rush it. Um, you have to trust the process. You can't rush the process. Um, and, you know, I use this, um, uh, I don't know what it's called, if it's like an analogy or a metaphor with one of the other signs, and I don't remember what, I think it was one of the earth signs, but it's like a cake. Like you, you put a, you make a cake and you put the batter in the oven and you set a timer for it. And you know, you have to wait X amount of time for that cake to be ready. And sometimes when the timer goes off, you put the toothpick in the middle and you pull it out and there's still cake batter on there and you have to put it back in for longer. Every cake is different. Sometimes some cakes are ready when the timer goes off. And sometimes some cakes need an extra two, three, four, five minutes. It depends on the cake. It depends on the time of the year. It depends on the moisture in the air. It depends on the type of pan you're using. There's so many variables, variables. And it's the same thing with, you know, things that we manifest. Sometimes, you know, it's like, you know, you have to get all the ducks in the row. And then, you know, you have to be in a position to where you're actually able to accept these ducks when they come in. Um, or geese <laughs> in your case so I hope that I hope that made sense all right so here are your unicorn affirmators you have three of them so the first one you have is playfulness it says I'm a playful participant in life and I always have the option to make something a fun game rather than a heavy burden Mary Poppins puts sugar in the medicine for a reason that lady really knows how to party I think Capricorn got this one. So you may have a Capricorn in your chart or Capricorn may be applicable to you. Next we have power. I like this one. It's a dinosaur tank. It's fun. It says, I am strong. I am grounded. I am powerful. I am like a cross between a dinosaur and a tank, but not a tank used for war. I am like a peaceful, loving dino tank who feels so strong. It doesn't need to do anything but be. <clears throat> Heart chakra heart chakra. You're amazing, Leo. Like you're so powerful. You're so in touch with like, I feel like you're so in touch with your instincts too and your intuition. Like you have a really good connection with your guide, with your guides. You know what I mean? Like I'm definitely getting like a very strong star seed light worker energy from the Leos that are viewing this right now, which I mean, was the intention of this. So <laughs> it's 
awesome. Shining star, like the Leo. I mean, leave it to a Leo, right? The shining star, the sun. Like, what brighter star in the in the in our sky is there? You know. All right. Next, we have patience. Um, I'm pretty sure that Aries got patience too, but it was from a different deck. So, um, there might be messages for you in the Aries video, or you could have um Aries placements in your chart. It says, "Congratulations! You've been granted more patience. You may start using it right away, or much, much later." Waiting a long time is the sort of option now afforded to you by greater patience. Can you believe it? <laughs> Look at this. You're still reading and you haven't started getting annoyed yet. Imagine how this patience will transform your life. Imagine how easy it will be to go to the post office. Wait in those long lines. <laughs> Just put your headphones in and listen to some music. I don't know. <laughs> I love you, Leo. These are awesome readings so far. Okay, I'm sure Sagittarius will be awesome too. We have your Lightworker Oracles. You have three. So the first one you have is play. Another one talking about play. So quit being so serious. I know you're putting in like a bunch of work and you're trying really hard and you're stressing out about the situation, but just go out and have some fun. Go do something that makes you feel like a kid again. You know, like something that just you really like to do that makes you feel happy you deserve it you deserve it leo like you've been doing so much you've been putting in the hard work you've been making amazing decisions you've got this wonderful beautiful gift that's coming in here just go have a little bit of fun it's okay like you deserve it especially like you know go play in the sun like you're you like lions have you ever seen a lion like it's like a cat like go play and be like a little kitty in the sun you know <laughs> All right, have fun, celebrate, don't be so serious. Don't be so serious. <laughs> when we have mirror, who or what is triggering you? Mm -hmm. Triggers, triggers are fun, aren't they? This is just a reminder from the universe that's like, hey, you've got something to work on. So, you know, that's how we learn and we progress and we grow is we work on things. And the more that we have things come up, then the more that we're able to heal things and to work past them and to grow and um, progress on our personal and spiritual journeys. So, you know, triggers suck, but they're necessary. Um, but yeah, this could be a twin flame too, if you resonate with being a twin flame. Although I'm really not getting any, uh, two, two, four, four. I'm really not getting any, um, like romance feelings from this reading I'm getting this more of in a sense of career um and then I'm also getting like a strong sense of like you've got like a like a really good friendship group um like you may have had like a few that were kind of like eh, get out of here but the other ones like there are like it's like a really strong like I'm feeling like a lot of like kindred loving um energy from from this friend group that you have so I think that's awesome um but you could resonate with being a twin flame um next we have council of light Divine orchestration helpers in the subtle realm. So yeah, I was feeling that like you are really in touch with your um, guides, with your spiritual helpers, with your spirituality, um, your intuition. Um, and this is something that is divinely orchestrated. This gift that's coming in is something that the universe is bringing for you. Um, you deserve it. You've earned it. Um, it's just, you know, coming in a little slowly because it's a big gift, you know? And so it kind of like has to, that's just kind of how it has to come in. Um, you know, so be patient, go outside and play, you know, and, and come back home and maybe you'll have an Amazon gift. I don't know. You know, a little universe gift that's like, hey, smiley face and the heart. <laughs> you never know. Okay. It's like when you're trying to find something, you know, like when you stop looking for it, you find it. It's the same thing. Like when you stop expect, like waiting for this gift to come in and go do something else, then it's going to come in. That's how it works. You know? All right. So you have a three inner effing piece um, cards. If this is your first time um, to one of my videos, I just saw 2424. Um, welcome. Subscribe for more content <laughs> to be able to see all my videos as soon as they upload. But this deck does have uh, swear words in them. I will not be saying, oops, I will not be saying this, these swear words. Um, but they will, you will be able to read them. I'm not going to blur them out because I don't know how to do that. And I don't want to take the time to do that. Um, yeah. <laughs> So let's uh, just get into this. So the first one we have is breathe like you know how. 
breathe like you know how. Inhale the good shit, exhale the bad shit. And I don't feel like that's a bad word, so I said it. So you could be needing to do some meditation. Um, you know, go out in the sunlight and do some meditation. Connect with nature. We have, this one's supposed to be like this. Highly meditated. With a license to chill. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I like that one. So yeah, go meditate. Go meditate. Go outside in the sun. Bask in the sun like the kitty cat that you are. And meditate. Just take 10 or 15 minutes. Okay? And then, I don't know, go climb a tree or do a cartwheel or kick a ball or something like that. <laughs> something fun. Like connect with your inner child. Um, okay, so this one says, uh, fresh out of F's and em embracing inner peace. And it says the wine is helping. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Okay, so you have three star seed messages, three of them. The first one that you have is blue flame. It says, connect to the blue flame, which is the light of pure love within you. And then we have gratitude. An attitude of gratitude. Universal love shines through the miracles of life all around you. What is one thing that you are grateful for? What's one thing you're grateful for? Think about it right now. You can pause the video, think about it right now. And then when you think about that one thing, think of three more. I bet you can do it. And then you have four. And then when you're done with that, I don't know, think of five more. I bet you can do that. I bet you can do that. Next thing you know, you got like 10 or 20 and look at that. You're grateful for your whole life. Isn't it amazing? Vibration. Vibration. <laughs> I'm in a weird mood today. <laughs> It's because I'm diving into the fire energy. It's my uh, rising is a Sagittarius, so I'm in my Sagittarius rising right now. Um, okay, vibration. Your vibration is being raised to higher levels. You are connected to the cosmic intelligence. Yeah, I was definitely picking up on the starseed um, lightworker energy. It's possible that you're, you also identify with being an indigo. Um, if you're unsure about that, for me, I believe it's generational. Um, my generation, we were, uh, were indigos. Um, so that's why I identify with being an indigo. My daughter says that she is a crystal. <laughs> um, so, you know, it's, it's generational. Um, I don't know what other ones there are. But um, I think that you should, um, if you're curious, I think consulting an astrologer or just looking at your own natal chart, doing some research on um, the karmic planets and the karmic placements will give you a lot of information on that. I believe it's um, uh, Saturn. It could be Pluto. But I'm pretty sure it's like Saturn. I'm, it's like three. I'm pretty sure it's like three. But anyway, they're like, yeah. Consult an astrologer. I do astrology, but um, I'm not an astrologer because it's a lot of work. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. And just trying to figure out my own, my own natal chart is literally, I've been doing this for like 15 years and I'm still learning more things out. So I'm not even going to try to attempt to do yours, but I do know a lot of information. I have been, you know, but I'm going to say, you know, find a professional astrologer, somebody who actually, um, what's the word I'm looking for? specializes in astrology <clears throat> or buy books that's what I do I have a lot of books and I read them and then I have a lot of notebooks where I've written down notes and I've worked on my own charts and then I have okay I'm just rambling in yours I'm sorry Leo um okay so we have uh two of the secret garden ones um you have twilight Surrender to the last hour when the light barely touches the flowers. Ooh, that was pretty. Maybe that's when you should go meditate. Which is interesting for a Leo because you would think that a Leo would be more at the sunrise. But maybe there's something about the sunset. Um, maybe it has to do with your moon placement. 
Ooh, I just got chills. Okay, and then we have re. Ugh. Sorry, <laughs> I couldn't say that word. <laughs> Retreats. Um, never underestimate the healing power of a quiet moment. Mm. Yeah, I really think that you need um, some meditation here. But those are all the messages that I have for you, Leo. I really hope that this helped you. Um, if it did, hit that thumbs up button. Not only does it help the channel's growth, but it helps the video get out to more people who may need to hear them. Um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. I just saw 3030 and 3033 on the clock. Um, so we're going to end this now. You're still getting messages here, Leo. I hope that you have a wonderful day or night or whenever it is that you are tuning into this. And I will see you in the next one.